Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see what is event driven architecture. Well, event driven architecture is a software design pattern in which decoupled applications can asynchronously publish and subscribe to events via event broker or message broker. Well, in a event driven architecture, the decoupled applications will basically use a message broker or event broker for asynchronous communication between publisher and subscriber. Alright. In a event driven architecture, applications communicate with each other by sending or receiving events or message. Well, in event driven architecture, the event means an action. Okay. So whenever something happens inside or outside your organization, an event has occurred. So events basically means actions that can be anything. For example, if you consider this event driven microservice architecture over here, this architecture has three applications or three microservices order service, stock service and email service and whenever a customer place the order then that time the event will be created for example create event and that event will be you know published to message broker and then stock service and email service these two services will basically consume that message from the message broker and in this event driven microservice architecture all the applications are loosely coupled okay so they are independent to each other. All right. So event driven architecture means it is a software design pattern in which all the decoupled applications will use message broker for asynchronous communication. Okay. So this is how the event driven architecture looks like. Well, event driven architecture is often referred as a asynchronous communication. For example, if you consider this event driven microservice architecture over here, this architecture has multiple microservices, right? Order service, stock and email service. Well, order service whenever it will create the order event and it will push that order event in a message broker, then order service don't have to wait for the response. It can proceed to, you know, to executing its other remaining task. Okay, so this is how the asynchronous communication. Whenever a order service, it will create the event and publish that event to the message broker, then it don't have to wait for the response. Okay, so this is the asynchronous communication. Well, event driven applications can be created in any programming language because event driven is a programming approach, not a language. Well, you can develop event driven architecture in any programming language. Well, an event driven architecture is loosely coupled. For example, consider our architecture here, event driven microservice architecture. In this architecture, we have three microservices, order service, stock service and email service. And all these three microservices are independent of each other. It means all these three microservices are loosely coupled okay so order service you don't have to know about stock service or email service order service just have to send an you know message or event to the message broker that's it it don't have to know about the consumers all right similarly stock service and email service so these are the consumers and they don't have to know about the producer they only responsible to consume or read the message from the message broker they don't have to know about the producer okay who is producing the messages all right so this is how the event driven architecture looks like so in an event driven architecture all the applications are loosely coupled all right so this is all about event driven architecture and event driven architecture is widely used in microservices all right in next lecture we'll see how event driven microservice architecture works and its advantages all right i will see you in next lecture